What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. So I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video here today primarily and going over this original first victim that we would have learned about I guess during our killer reveal that we got in the movie related to our trio of Baileys. But before I dive into that, I'm going to talk about this report that's coming from Bloody Disgusting, who's getting it from Jeff Snyder, who reported it on Above the Line, confirming that Linda Blair was indeed involved with the upcoming Exorcist sequel that's coming later this year from David Gordon Green. Uh, Jeff Snyder reported that Linda Blair will reprise her role as Reagan McNeil. Above the Line has exclusively learned this. Sources say that Blair was only on set for a few days, so she's not in the film all that much, but her return to the franchise should make fans head spin should make fans head spin with the excitement. It's worth noting that a Blumhouse spokesperson only confirmed to Snyder that Blair served as an advisor on the new movie, refusing to confirm or deny an on-screen appearance. I'm expecting her to appear in the movie. I learned about her involvement a few months ago. Granted, they didn't necessarily say that she would appear on screen, but learning that she's involved, that would then lead you to assume she would appear on screen in some capacity. So my whole thing with Reagan returning, going off of the synopsis that we have, the brief synopsis that we have, plot details, it tells us that the, the character played by Odom Jr., is going to be the father of a possessed child. Desperate for help, he tracks down Reagan's mother, who we know is played by uh, Burstyn. So Reagan and her capacity of involvement, like I predicted in another video, most likely will relate to just teaming up with her mother for a brief second. Or maybe Reagan shows up as like a last minute savior of the movie and sacrifices herself to save the new kid. Depending on how it's executed on screen, that might be something that could be underwhelming because you just had her come in to die. But given the context and how it's executed, it could go over very well. I do think Linda Blair will appear on screen as Reagan. Uh, even though they didn't specifically tell Jeff Snyder this, I'm expecting Linda to return as Reagan later this October when this movie drops. You guys can let me know down below in the comment section if you're excited to see her back. I think this is her first time back since the original sequel. I was wanting to say the first movie, but I think she was actually in that sequel. It's just been a while since I've watched those sequels. I just mostly adore that first movie, I'm being honest. Jumping into Scream 6, apparently... There was a bit of dialogue, according to Liana Liberato in this article from Collider, this interview with Collider she did. Uh, according to Liana Liberato, there was once a few lines explaining how Mother Bailey was the new Ghostface's first victim as the poor woman didn't want to get along with Father Bailey's murderous plans. This is what Liana, Liana Liberato had to say about it. There was talk of mom that didn't make it in the film. I think there was a few lines of us, well not me, but Ethan sort of helping detective bailey with the death of our mother because she didn't agree with things and that was cut that was something that line always made me giggle while we were filming because i was like that's insane i can't believe we killed our mother i can't believe you did that either because it doesn't make any sense if you were to explain that during your reveal you're upset that <laughs> sam killed richie and you're so off the rails that you killed your own well not you because again you weren't involved in this she's saying that this was bailey and ethan you guys wanted revenge for Richie being killed by Sam, so you take out another family member because they're not down for the cause? It's a little counterproductive. So yes, I am glad that this was cut. I also am glad that it was cut because I am on the same page with a lot of you. Don't get me wrong. Some people hate me. Well, not I, well. a lot of people do hate me. I don't really care there. But some people do not like my review because of the fact that I still gave the movie a high score despite my gripes with it. The gripes that I have with it are pretty much in line with some of you who are giving it a low score. The unanswered questions that are piling up in the movie, they are a bit... You could have avoided a lot of them. I won't, I won't deny that. But there are a lot of them that, to me, they're not so important to the overall grand scheme of things. Like the fact that, one, that I know you could argue is very important, but still something that could happen is just highly unlikely. The fact that Gail didn't know about Richie's father. Uh, Kirby didn't know about Richie's father or I guess you could even say that none of them learned about Richie's father because this man managed to stay out of the media there's ways for for this to be likely but if you're thinking about it in ways that make it unlikely of course that unanswered question would bother you like how did Gail write a book and not know about Richie's parents so if you would have threw in a line saying that oh we actually took out our mother because she didn't want to go along with what we were down for that would have raised another unanswered question like the fact that okay well who who is this woman why didn't the news mention her why didn't anyone in this movie see anything online anywhere about about this kill like why wasn't it broadcasted or i mean honestly 
Again, that's me raising questions, thinking about it in a logical fashion. They could have killed her. And because of uh, because of the circumstances, like people can literally be killed and the bodies could just be found days later. So if they revealed this to us during their monologue and knowing that nobody had any type of news coverage or we didn't see any news coverage of this during the movie prior to them dropping a bombshell like that, that they took out their own mother. The safe, logical thing to assume would be that, OK, they must have did this recently and no one found her body because there's a lot of things with Scream 6. I'm not going to disc discredit people who say this there's a lot of things with scream six that are unanswered that i know could have been avoided if it was written a little better in certain departments i'm just not one of those people who think that the script was the worst thing ever there's a lot of great pros about the script and like i said before during my spoiler free review there's a lot of weaknesses to the script i was even expecting the script to be the biggest issue with the movie because to me personally when i watch a lot of movies that tends to be the biggest issue for most movies with me is the script sometimes it could be the acting sometimes it could be the directing but usually the to me i find most problems with the scripts or just how they might be being conveyed on screen to me which could tie into the direction that this that they chose to take the script in uh but not having this line in the movie i think was for the best because it would have just added on to the already list of unanswered questions people have that bother them with scream six so you guys let me know that in the comment section below are you glad we didn't get a line about richie's mother who i would assume <laughs> this is richie's mother you could also assume that they don't have the same mother. This is very well possible that Wayne had had Richie with a different woman, just like he had Ethan and Quinn with a different woman, possibly. I think there was actually a scene that Dermot or somebody pointed out, a scene in which Dermot and Kirby were interacting and he told Kirby, hey, my wife divorced me after my son died because she couldn't bear to look at me after after he died because she said i reminded her too much of him so the pain was too strong and too much for her so she divorced him that was cut and i think they kept in of course the line we know quinn said oh my my after my brother died my dad became super clingy stuff like that so if you would have had another line like that that would have just tied those two in together and made them more suspicious so there's a lot of stuff with scream six that was cut but knowing that they cut out this mention of an of a first victim being their mother i'm glad that was cut because it would just add it to the unanswered question i don't find it to be all that necessary to drop a line like that let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification there is a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video